Welcome to Proverbs and Blessings, day one. We're in chapter one of Proverbs today, and we're going to hear an introduction to the book of Proverbs. We're going to begin the discussion between a father and a son and the father's exhortation to the son on wisdom. And we're going to hear a poem from Lady Wisdom. These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, king of Israel. Their purpose is to teach people wisdom and discipline, to help them understand the insights of the wise. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them do what is right, just, and fair. These proverbs will give insight to the simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. Let the wise listen to these proverbs and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance by exploring the meanings of these proverbs and parables, the words of the wise and their riddles. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. My child, listen when your father corrects you. Don't neglect your mother's instruction. What you learn from them will crown you with grace and be a chain of honor around your neck. My child, if sinners entice you, turn your back on them. They may say, come and join us. Let's hide and kill someone. Just for fun, let's ambush the innocent. Let's swallow them alive like the grave. Let's swallow them whole like those who go down to the pit of death. Think of the great things we'll get. We'll fill our houses with all the stuff we take. Come, throw in your lot with us. We'll all share the loot. My child, don't go along with them. Stay far from their paths. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. If a bird sees a trap being set, it knows to stay away. But these people set an ambush for themselves. They are trying to get themselves killed. Such is the fate of all who are greedy for money. It robs them of life. Wisdom shouts in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She calls to the crowds along the main street, to those gathered in front of the city gate. How long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. So I will laugh when you are in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster engulfs you like a cyclone, and anger and distress overwhelm you. When they cry for help, I will not answer. Though they anxiously search for me, they will not find me, for they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. They rejected my advice and paid no attention when I corrected them. Therefore, they must eat the bitter fruit of living their own way, choking on their own schemes. For simpletons turn away from me to death. Fools are destroyed by their own complacency. But all who listen to me will live in peace, untroubled by fear of harm. And to end today, I have a blessing for you from 1 Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24, which says, May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. May you be so in tune with the Holy Spirit's movement in your life that you're always in the right place at the right time. May your every step be ordered by the Lord. May you go where he'd have you go, say what he'd have you say, and pray what he'd have you pray. May you be a vessel that Jesus fills up and pours out on a dry and thirsty land. And may your own soul be replenished in the process. I love you all. Have a wonderful day.